Hello everyone, my name is Charles and this is the 18th episode of the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report. First up in this report, we will be discussing the current status of the Mauna Loa Volcano, followed up by the Kilauea Volcano, and finally, a look at the Halemaumau Crater. First up in the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report is the Mauna Loa Volcano. USGS reported on Thursday, October 8, 2020, at 9.53 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, that over the past week, HVO seismometers recorded approximately 98 small magnitude earthquakes beneath the volcano summit and upper elevation flanks. The majority of these quakes occurred at shallow depths of less than 8 kilometers or approximately 5 miles below sea level. The largest earthquake was a magnitude of 3.2 that occurred below the volcano's southwest rift zone on October 6. Global positioning measurements continue to indicate slow, long-term summit inflation consistent with magma supply to the volcano's shallow storage system. Gas concentrations and fumarole temperatures at both the summit and sulfur cone on the southwest rift zone remain stable. Webcam views have revealed no changes to the landscape over the past week. So as you can see, there hasn't been much activity on Mount Aloha for the last week. So that will conclude the Mauna Loa portion of the report. Turning our sights over to the Kilauea volcano, the USGS reported on Thursday, October 1st, 2020 at 9.54 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time that there were approximately 1,450 earthquakes during the month of September at Kilauea an increase of roughly 35% from the number of earthquakes recorded in August. Over the past month, summit tilt meters recorded four deflation inflation events, a significant decrease from last month's total. The long-term trend of deformation at Kilauea summit and Middle East Rift Zone continued to show inflation, consistent with magma supply to the volcano's shallow storage system. GPS stations on Kilauea's south flank continue to show the elevated rates of motion towards the ocean. HVO continues to carefully monitor all data streams along the Kilauea East Rift Zone and south flank for important changes. Rates of sulfur dioxide emissions at the summit are low, consistent with no significant shallowing of magma. Some amount of sulfur dioxide is being dissolved into shallow groundwater and the crater lake located at the bottom of Halemaumau. As of September 29th, the lake depth was approximately 46 meters and, or 150 feet. The crater lake was last sampled by a UAS in January and additional sampling with a UAS is planned. Sulfur dioxide emission rates are below detection limits at Puo and the lower east rift zone as well. Please note, there is currently no eruptive activity on the Kilauea volcano. However, areas of persistently elevated ground temperatures and minor release of gases are still found in the vicinity of the 2018 Lower East Rift Zone fissures. These emissions include steam, water vapor, very small amounts of hydrogen sulfide, and carbon dioxide gases. These conditions are expected to be long-term in this area, such as similar conditions that followed the 1955 eruption, which continued for years to decades. It's now time for the third segment of the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report, which focuses on the crater lake located at the bottom of the Halemaumau Crater. Normally in this segment of the report, I would go through the individual images collected by the USGS of the crater lake at the summit. However, in this particular edition of the report, we are going to pretty much focus on one particular video and an image provided by the USGS because it shows what I believe to be something significant happening at the crater. However, USGS seems to think otherwise. USGS has provided this video and included the following caption. This video, taken on September 23rd, 2020, 
shows a small area of bubbling or upwelling along the western shoreline of the water lake at the summit of Kilauea. This feature may result from a submerged fumarole or gas vent on the crater wall. The extent of this feature is limited and it does not seem to have a significant effect on the overall lake surface activity. No other unusual changes were observed in the lake. Now taking a look at this video clip again, one thing I want to point out, this feature is something we have not seen in the crater lake uh, up until now. And it represents obviously some type of gas uh, or upwelling emission coming from the edge of the crater lake. The question is, is what is actually causing this? USGS believes that it is of course a submerged fumarole or gas vent that's on the crater wall. However, after looking at other images and the older thermal images of this particular area of the crater, I don't see any evidence that this was a normal hot spot. So it could potentially be new or it may be a sign of something else. Now the question is, is what would that be? If you remember back in previous episodes of the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report and some other discussions I have had on the Crater Lake and the summit itself about lava returning, I laid out three potential possibilities of, uh, of if the lava was to return, what it might look like based on my opinion and observations. Um, this could technically be one of those signs that lava may be returning to the summit, but doesn't necessarily mean that. So do, please do not take that comment out of context. However, this could be a sign that things may be getting a little warmer beneath the crater lake. Um, it is obvious in this image that uh, there is an upwelling and I'm going to also show y'all a color enhanced uh, version of this particular video clip so that we can uh, get maybe a better idea exactly how this or, or get a better idea exactly what the dynamic is uh, because they say there's no effect on the surface lake but I think there is a, a contribution um, that's being made. Now in this false color enhancement of the video clip we're seeing there in the center of the screen the the area of circulation or upward convection um, you can tell right in the middle of it is where most of the activity is coming from and it spreads out. However, if you also notice out around the diameter area of this upwelling, you'll see these little black dots appear and disappear regularly throughout the image. Now originally I thought that these black dots could be ripples on the surface of the water and just being overly enhanced by the false color that I've applied to the video clip. However, after watching the clip a few times, I've noticed that these dots continuously appear in the same areas over and over and over. So instead of it being ripples on the surface of water, I expect and it is my opinion that these are actually air bubbles that are breaking the surface of the water and they're coming from the same location beneath the water surface. So that means that this upwelling may be a little bit more pronounced outward than what is originally seen in the, the images here. So what does this mean? Well, I don't know, and I suspect USGS really don't know either, but it is something that we need to keep a closer eye on, and I do believe monitoring of this uh, phenomena should become a, a high priority for USGS. At least that is my opinion, because this is something that I uh, would expect to see if lava was returning slowly to the summit uh, in one of the situ or in one of the um, probabilities that I laid out in previous episodes was that if lava was to return slowly to the summit, we would begin to see a boiling in the lake and a gradual decrease in the depth of the lake as the water boiled off versus any explosive activity or anything of that nature. That's my opinion of this phenomena that we are now witnessing at the Crater Lake. And that'll do it for the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, ring the bell icon, share the video on your favorite social media platforms. Don't forget to check out my red bubble for great masks and other wonderful merchandise. And we will talk to you later. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.